What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. News has been kind of slow ever since the most recent Nintendo Direct, but there is some stuff to talk about. So a couple news videos ago I mentioned that a retailer put up a listing for a special Yoshi Nintendo 3DS XL. And it turns out that thing is real. And of course the 3DS XL will be sporting the color green to coincide with Yoshi's likeness and in actuality the 3DS will only be green on the top half while the bottom half will be white. And there will also be some Yoshi and egg decals on the system and they're going with more of a minimalistic approach. And I'm not liking it too much. I do like the green color, but I'm not too fond of the details. Decals. And as of right now, it's only been confirmed for Europe. There is no sign of it coming to North America, but there is always a chance. And it's not actually a bundle, it's just a special 3DS XL. It doesn't come with Yoshi's New Island. But if you do fancy this design, it will be coming to Europe on March 14th. And it's some good news for the Wii U is that a brand new Transformers game has been announced known as Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. And yes, it is actually coming to the Wii U, as well as the 3DS. This new game will be a follow-up to the upcoming Transformers live-action movie, as well as the War for Cybertron and Fallout Cybertron games. You will be able to switch between playing as the Autobots or playing as the Decepticons throughout the single-player campaign as you hunt for the ancient relic known as the Dark Spark. This new Transformers game will have gameplay that is similar to the Cybertron title so you can expect some fast-paced running and gunning action as well as some vehicle combat. And the fan favorite Escalation Multiplayer Mode will be made to return with some new stuff added in, and there will also be a new leveling up system that will be unified, so the experience that you earn in single player and multiplayer will be shared. So Rise of the Dark Spark doesn't look half bad, and it might be something worth checking out. And at least it is actually coming to the Wii U, so that's good. And you can expect it to hit store shelves this June. And it's some potentially bad news for the Wii U's that an unconfirmed sales figure for the Wii U's own Wii Fit U has came in, and it's pretty bad. Now I say it is unconfirmed because it's not coming from Nintendo or an official source, but in actuality coming from people over on NeoGAF who were screwing around for some data. So NeoGAF is reporting that Wii Fit U sold less than 20,000 units in January for the United States, and January is when the game actually released at retail. So you really can't look at the sales figure and say this is a good thing. 20,000 units is pretty abysmal, and I guess it kind of just shows that the Wii Fit fat is kind of dead. Plus it doesn't help that there's like virtually no advertising for this game, and the Wii U does have a low install base, so you can factor all that in there. So if Nintendo was hoping that Wii Fit U is going to help draw in more casual gamers like on the Wii, well it looks like that didn't happen. But of course this is an unconfirmed sales figure so it could potentially be wrong. Maybe Nintendo could have had more of a success with Wii Fit U if they actually advertised it more because people who are casual gamers aren't really going to know of this game because they aren't ones to go on the internet to look at video game news. But hey, what do I know? And in some slightly unsurprising news is that the main developer of the core Ace Attorney games, Shu Takumi, has announced in the recent Nintendo Direct that he is working on a new Ace Attorney game. And as of right now the only thing we know about this game is that it's going to be completely different from past entries in the series, which is pretty vague. So I guess we can expect the gameplay to be different somehow, maybe Phoenix Wright will take on a new job that adds in a new gameplay element, I don't know. But just know that a new Ace Attorney game is in the pipelines, and maybe, just maybe, Capcom will decide to localize it. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's on me episodes. I still haven't beaten Bravely Default, I am almost done though, so you can expect a review for that game up in the future. And of course, that's on Miiverse episode 10, will be going up this Saturday, so you can stay tuned for all that. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!